Okay, so we're going to have a look at our fractions problem page and I'll give you some tips on how to get started. Okay, in number one, you are told that Lily and nine of her friends, don't forget to include Lily, make up one twelfth of the entire number of contestants in the race. So you know that one twelfth of the entire contestants in the race is 10 because Lily and her nine friends all together make 10. So if 1 twelfth is equal to 10, what are 12 twelfths equal to? Okay, imagine. Okay, imagine a pizza. with 12 twelfths, okay, cut into twelfths, and each twelfth has 10 pieces of, um, I don't know, corn on it, okay, so this one has 10, this one has 10, this one, how many pieces of corn are there going to be on the whole pizza? 1 twelfth is equal to 10, what are 12 twelfths going to be equal to? So think about that and write down your answer. Now, number two, it says, Three of Lily's nine friends did not enjoy the race. What fraction of her friends did not enjoy the race? Well, for that one, you'd simply just have to write one of the numbers over the other one. And that will give you the answer. But it is best practice to simplify your answer. So how can you simplify the answer? See if you can divide the top and the bottom of the fraction by the same number. I think we'll all be able to do that one. Okay. Number three. During the race, the children had lower obstacles to climb than the adults. Normal. The adult's wonky wall was 171 centimetre high. So the same height as me. <laughs> the children's wonky wall was 7 ninths of 171 centimetres. How high was the children's wonky wall? So we need to find 7 ninths of 171. Before we find seven ninths, we first need to find, that's right, we first need to find one ninth, okay? So seven ninths of one seven one, we're not sure, okay? But we can find one ninth. How do we find a ninth of a number? That's right, we divide by nine, okay? And you'll get an answer. And then, once you know what one ninth is, you can then multiply by seven to find out what seven ninths is. Okay, so that answer will come down here. And you'd multiply it by seven to find out the height of the children's wall. Okay, I hope that helps. And I'll rub that out for the next one. Remember, if you need to, you can pause the video at any time and look back. Okay, the bits that you find tricky. And then the last one. It says the table below. So this table here shows the distance of the race course that Lily and each of her friends have completed after 30 minutes. I say they're very tired. <laughs> Put their positions in order on the number line, starting with the child who had completed the, completed the shortest distance. Now, down here... The number line is divided into twelfths, okay? So basically you're saying whoever is the furthest ahead will be closest to one, okay? And here would be the person who is the shortest distance. So imagine this is the finish line and this is the start line and we're seeing who's closer to the finish line, okay? It's just the order. We're interested in the order. Now, down here all the fractions are expressed in twelfths and up here some of them are, but some of them aren't. What you need to do is to change these fractions into an equivalent fraction in twelfths. Okay? Or you can do it in your head. You can say, well, I know that one half would be six twelfths. So you know that Lily would go at six twelfths. And you can just write here, Lily. Okay? Right? And um, you could say, well, 11 twelfths, you can write that straight away. You can write it in. Okay? So, my advice.
price would be to change all of these to 12. Let me take, for example, three quarters. How could I change that to 12? Well, I look at the relationship between the denominators. What do I need to do to 4 to get to 12? I multiply it by 3. I do the same to the, to the numerator then, so I multiply by 3 and I get 9. So 3 quarters, Josh, I would write down here as 9 twelfths. Okay? I hope that helps. You can do the rest yourself.